We're now going to have a look at the English achievement multiple linear regression uh, as a hierarchical regression to see what effect that would have on the types of questions uh, we could ask and answer. So in a hierarchical regression we split the independent variables into groups of one or more variables. In this case we'll have student gender and socio-educational level of parents in the first step because our logic here is that these are background unchangeable variables. We'll see how much variance they explain in English achievement and then we'll look to see if the frequency of homework and attentiveness in class explain additional variance above and beyond the background variables. So with that model in mind we'll go analyze regression linear. English achievement is our dependent variable. In block one we're going to put gender and socio-educational level then go to next and put homework and attentiveness in block two. The options that we'll click on, uh, we've seen some of the detail in the previous analyses so we don't need to relook at the correlations. We do want the R squared because it's a hierarchical and we've already seen um, these other, other options. So no need to look at the plots uh, and no need to look at multivariate outliers. So I've pasted the syntax and we'll run that. So here are the two models that we've run, uh, background variables and then all variables. What's of interest is what happens to the R squared. And for the first model we have an R squared of 0 0.06, so 6% of variance explained in model 2, which will be the same as the previous standard regression we ran. Uh, we explained 22%, so the R squared change has been an increase of 16% for the second analysis. Both models are statistically significant, but the change in R squared is also significant. So attentiveness and homework explain an additional 16% on top of uh, gender and socio-educational level and that is a significant increase in the R squared. Finally we'll look at this as a stepwise analysis and in a stepwise analysis we're going to let uh, the computer decide on which variables are going to go in or out. So we want regression, linear, we want all variables in the one step at the start and then we choose here stepwise. Having run the results now we can see that in the first model uh, attentiveness was chosen it was the most significant variable and in the second model uh, frequency of homework was added and then uh, it stopped because it could find no more signifi significant variables first model just with attentiveness explains 19 percent and the second model with homework adds an extra three percent so the R squared change is 0 0.03, which is statistically significant extra variance on top of attentiveness. Now an interesting thing uh, about this analysis is to then look at the regression coefficients. Which are here. And what's of note is that in this model both attentiveness and homework are significant predictors. However, last time, remember, for the standard regression, homework was not a significant predictor. Now, the reason for that was that it was correlated with gender and therefore shared some explanation with gender. This model doesn't have gender and therefore homework...